Auzubillahimine şeytani racim Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Today we are going to start in lesson number 6 Before this you have learned the word haza which means this and the word haza is used for masculine only Now you will learn the word hazihi Hazihi also means this and the word hazihi is used for feminine things so you will learn this thing here in this chapter and just like haza there is an alif between ha and zal which is pronounced but this alif is not written so this alif is pronounced only but it is not written in this word so you can read this by pausing the video then you will learn how to make a word feminine so just like English sometime in English we just like in English sometime we just make feminine by adding a suffix so in Arabic we add the suffix ta marbuta we add this tamar buta to a noun to make it feminine like mudaris is masculine mudarissa is feminine which means lady teacher so to make a word feminine we just add tamar buta but there are some words whose feminine form is completely different and we need to memorize these nouns so like ibn its feminine is bintun akh min ukhtun in this way there are some words whose feminine is completely different then what about the body parts like we have hands head leg nose those body parts which are in pair like you have two hands you have two legs you have two eyes you have two ears these words yad rijal ayn uzun are considered as feminine word in Arabic and those body parts which are singular like ras you have only one ras you have one nose you have one form you have one watch so these are considered as masculine you can also read this by pausing the video then you will learn about another harfajar which is li so before this you have learned about the harf fi min ala b now you will learn the harf li li mean belongs to and for haza li bilal in wazalika hamid in this belongs to bilal that belongs to hamid lillahi belongs to allah so this is the harf that you have learned today so when we add this li to a noun it become majru like bilalun changes into bilalin hamidun changes into hamidin because of harvijal li but when we add it to a this type of word which is mabni which never changes it will remain the same so liman mean who is belonging to whom and man will remain same it will not accept kasala liman haza but Whenever we have sukoon with alif lam, like there we have known sukoon with alif lam. There is a rule that says in Arabic two sukoons can't come together. So in that case, we need to change sukoon into kasra lima nil kitab. So whenever two sukoon come together, we change the sukoon into kasra. You will learn about this later inshallah then you will learn the meaning of haza haza mean also and you will also learn the meaning of jiddan which mean very next we have some vocabulary you better memorize this vocabulary and then write their meanings without looking at dictionary or anything so you write them and you better upload them to google classroom as your homework 
الدرس السادس سکست لیسن حاضی ہی دس دورڈ حاضی ہی جوز فور فیمنین آنلی حاضب نو حامدین سو یو نوٹ دیس ٹو علیہ بکم سیلنٹ بکاز علیف اور حمزة الوصل is pronounced only when it is at the beginning of the sentence it is not in the beginning of sentence here so it is silent ha zabnu hamidin wa hazihi bintu yasir this is the son of hamid and this is the daughter of yasir ibnu hamidin jalisun wa bintu yasirin waqifun hamid's son is sitting And Yasir's daughter is standing. Man hazihi. Who is this? Hazihi Ukhtul Muhandis. This is the sister of the engineer. Ahi Aydan Muhandisa. Is she also an engineer? La. Hiya Tabiba. No, she is a doctor. Sayaratu Man hazihi. Siyaratu man whose car has he this? Whose car is this? Has he siyaratu al-mudir? This is the car of the headmaster. Ma has he? What is this? Has he miqwah? This is an iron. Liman has he? To whom belong this? Hazihi li Khalid This belongs to Khalid A darajatu anasin hazihi Is this bicycle of anas? La Hazihi darajatu ammar Hazihi jadidatun Wa darajatu anasin kadima No, this is Ammar's bicycle This is new And anas bicycle is old Hazihi Sa'atu Ali Hiya Jameelatun Jindan This is the watch of Ali It is very beautiful Hazihi Milakatun Wa Hazihi Qidrun This is a spoon And this is a cooking pot So this cooking pot is called Qidr And this word is considered as feminine Al-Mil-Akatu Fil-Qidri The spoon is in the cooking pot. Hazihi Bakratul Falah This is the cow of the farmer. Haza Anfun Wa Haza Fammun This is nose and this is mouth. Hazihi Uzunun Wa Hazihi Aynun This is ear and this is eye. Hazihi Yadun Wa Hazihi Rijlun This is hand and this is leg. So you have two hands, two legs. These words are considered as feminine. But you have one nose, one mouth. So these words are considered as masculine. The marine exercises. Ikra waktub. Read and write. Haza masjidun. Wa hazihi. Madrasatun. This is masjid and this is school. Man hazihi. Who is this? Hazihi ukhtu Abbas. This is the sister of Abbas. Haza dikun wa hazihi dajaja. This is a rooster and this is a chicken. Haza bnul mudiri wa hazihi bintul mudaris. This is the son of the headmaster and this is the daughter of the teacher. Hazihi Ummu Yasir This is the mother of Yasir Aina Kidrul Laham Where is the cooking pot of Laham? Where is the pot of meat? Haza Babun wa Hazihi Nafiza This is a door and this is a window So remember for masculine you will use Haza And for feminine you will use Hazihi Aina kidru lahami Where is the pot of meat? Hiya fis salaja It is in the refrigerator Tamarine exercises Ma haza wa ma hazihi 
what is this and what is this so for masculine things you will ask mahaza and for feminine things you will ask mahazihi what is this so if the word is masculine you will say haza baitun haza kitabun haza masjidun haza babun but if the word is feminine you will say hazihi mil'akatun then this kalam is masculine haza kalamun you have two hands so it is feminine hazihi yadun mikwa has tamal wuta so hazihi mikwatun ha, this word does not has tamal wuta haza miftahun so this this thing kidr is considered as feminine so in this way you will just do it so you need to write either haza haza or hazihi with these words you can also write complete sentence if you want this will help you in increasing your vocabulary <coughs> so you can write haza baitun hazihi milakatun haza kamisun in this way you can write complete sentence or you just if you are doing on the book you can also just write haza 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 hazihi 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 with these pictures after writing them you will upload it to google classroom as your homework ikrail misala read the example waqawin jumlan ala ghirarihi and make sentences on the blanks muhammadun talib muhammad is a student aminatu taliba amina is a student you need to make feminine so to make feminine is very easy in all these words you will just add around ta which is known as ta marbuta so fatimatu tabibatun hiya muslimatun annafizatu mughlik mughlakatun so whatever is written here you will add ta marbuta it will become feminine you will write like this here this is also your homework sahih al jumla al atiya correct the following sentences there is a grammatical mistake in all of them you need to find that mistake and you need to correct it for example hakibatu man haza hakiba you see has ta marbuta it is feminine word but haza is for masculine so you need to change this hakibatu man hazihi so you need to write hazihi here or you can also write the complete sentence here al ghurfatu maftuhun so you see ghurfa is feminine ta marbuta but maftuh is masculine so you need to add ta marbuta here maftuhatun then haza sayaratu tabibi sayara is feminine haza is masculine so you need to change into hazihi hazihi sayaratu tabib then mifta you see it is masculine so you need to say haza mifta hus sayara in this way you will do it as your homework ikra waktub ma dabti awakhir al kalimat read and write with correct endings haza li muhammadin wa zalik ali hamid this belongs to muhammad and that belongs to hamid liman hazihi to whom belong this hazihi li yasir this belongs to yasir alhamdulillah thanks to allah lillahi al mashriqu wal maghribu to allah belongs the east and the west al kalimatul jadida you will write their meanings here and then you will upload it to google classroom as your homework so in this lesson we will learn the feminine form of zalika zalika mean that it is used for masculine its feminine form is tilka tilka mean that it is used for feminine haza bilal wa zalika hamid you can read these sentences then you have vocabulary you need to memorize this vocabulary then you will write their meanings without looking at the book or anything and you will upload it to google classroom as your homework adars sabe seventh lesson man hazi who is this hazi amina 
This is Amina. Wa man tilka? And who is that? Tilka Fatima. That is Fatima. Hazihi tabibatun wa tilka mumarrida. This is a doctor and that is a nurse. Hazihi minal hindi wa tilka minal yaban. This is from the India and that is from Japan. Hazihi tawilatun wa tilka kasira. This is tall and that is short. Man haza, who is this? Haza Hamid, this is Hamid. Wa man zalika, and who is that? Zalika Ali, that is Ali. Atilka Dajaja, is that a chicken? La, tilka batta, no, that is a duck. Ma tilka, what is that? Tilka baida, that is an egg. Hazihi Sayaratul Mudarisi wa Tilka Sayaratul Mudir. This is the car of the teacher and that is the car of the headmaster. Asaatu Abbas in Hazihi. Is this Abbas watch? La. Hazihi Saatu Hamidin wa Tilka Saatu Abbas. No, this is the watch of Hamid and that is the watch of Abbas. Zalika Dikun Watilka Dajaja That is a rooster and that is a rooster and that is a chicken. So you see for masculine we use Zalika, for feminine we use Tilka. Ikra Waktub read and write Hazihi Madrasatun Watilka Jamia. This is a school and that is a university. Zalika Himarun Watilka Bakara. That is a donkey and that is a cow. Azalika Masjid. Is that a masjid? La Tilka Madrasa. No, that is a school. Haza Jamalun Watilka Naka. This is a camel and that is a she camel. Naka means she camel, female, feminine camel. Hazihi Mudarisa Watilka Taliba. This is a teacher and that is a student. Has a kalbun wazalika kittun. This is a dog and that is a cat. Has a baitul muazzini watilka hati katutaji. This is the house of the muazzin and that is the garden of the merchant. Muazzin means the man who says the azan, who says the Muslim call to prayer in the masjid, in the mosque. Ashil al Kalimat al Atiya Bismi Isharat in Lil Baid. These two words Zalika and Tilka are known as Ismi Ashara Lil Baid. So he is asking you to point to the following words using Ismi Ashara Lil Baid. If the word is masculine, you will say Zalika like Zalika Ab, Zalika Kalam, Zalika Hajar, Zalika Kamis, Zalika Muazin. But if the word is feminine, you will use Tilka. Tilka Um. Tilka Milaka, Tilka Ain, Tilka Kidar, Tilka Bakra. In this way, you will fill these blanks and you will upload it to Google Classroom as your homework. Al Kalimatul Jadida, new words, you will write their meanings here and you will upload it to Google Classroom as your homework. Asma Ulishara Lil Bayid, so this word Lil Karib. Haza and Hazi here known as Asma Ulishara Lil Karib. And Zalika and Tilka are known as Asma Ulushala Lil Baid. So let me check how much time we have done here. Time is not mentioned here. 19 minutes. Okay. Next, we have the new lesson. I think we better keep it for the next one. So, inshallah, next time we'll continue new from the lesson 8 if you have any question you can ask me in the comments or you can ask me on my whatsapp also ma as -salama.